lasers, processions, stunning displays, all under a new theme of illuminating communities. So we brainstormed a few ideas and we really wanted to make sure that we highlighted um, the fact that there was, it, the uh, festival was community based and included a lot of diversity and a lot of differences and just obviously like illuminating because we're talking about light festivals so it all just came together and just felt right. The festival has been taking place since 2009. This is the 14th year. Originally it was a one day event focused on the city centre but Covid triggered a rethink and it was forced to go online. Now it's spread more widely across Oxford with attractions this year in Cowley, Cutslow and Rose Hill. Take a look at this, this is one of the highlights of tonight's event. Hundreds of school children carrying lanterns that they've made themselves. It's one of half a dozen processions that's expected to take place over the weekend. I'm finding it very interesting, the way they have all the lights and, um, the, uh, and I really enjoyed making the lanterns to parade around and I really like the way that they've lit up Front Park with the different coloured lights. It's just so lovely to get the community out here together and um, it looks beautiful. See a little bit of light in the darkness a bit of, and the community together, we're just, it's fantastic, we're very lucky. And there you have it, one of the highlights of the Oxford calendar celebrating the city's cultural life in dazzling illumination. David Lum, BBC South Today.